good morning. I don't know what it is that uh, makes me wake up either just before or just after midnight, but it keeps happening every day pretty much. Even though I tried to get back to sleep again this morning, I could not do so. So I make it up before 2 o'clock and make my video by 2 o'clock. And the title for today is why I don't want to go to heaven. <laughs> Interesting title, huh? And I start with a quote from Revelation 21, 1 in the New International Version. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away. Earth as we have experienced it sucks. <laughs> there are lies on top of lies and injustice reigns everywhere. In the past, many people, including me, have prayed and cried, God, get me out of here. <laughs> Heaven, as we imagined it, was an escape from hell on earth. Frankly, I don't want any more escapes. I want the problems we face on earth to be corrected. I want truth and justice to prevail on a planet where love your neighbor as yourself actually means something real and tangible. I don't even want to escape my body. I want the one I have to be fully restored, made whole as it was in the beginning. I am a child of God, and it's high time that all of humanity begins to grasp and exercise that reality. And before I go on any further, I want to just give some cross-references from Isaiah this one is from 65, verse 17. See, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. And 66, 22. As the new heavens and the new earth that I make will endure before me, declares the Lord, so will your name and descendants endure. Indeed, there were promises scattered throughout the Bible, and I imagine, though I don't know them as well, I imagine they exist in the Quran, I imagine they exist in the Bhagavad Gita, and in other spiritual writings that have come down to us in the various cultures throughout the ages. Because God has spoken to all men everywhere. It's not about making everybody a Christian. It's about making everyone aware of who were we who we were created to be. As Anastasia said, in the beginning there was freedom. In the beginning, man walked with God. God walked with man. There was no uh, there was no difference, there was no distance between God and, and, and men, and man was in union with, with nature and everything worked in harmony with each other. That isn't the way it has been in our lifetime, folks. And of course, there's a lot of us, there's a lot of us, if not most of us, would like to get the hell out of here. <laughs> Literally, get the hell out of here. Earth. I don't just mean we want to leave, I mean, we want the hell stuff to disappear, to be corrected. We want remedy for a situation that seems, in, that seems overwhelming to us. And it is that that makes us want to escape. That's why people do the drugs and the alcohol and use all sorts of things as escape mechanisms because the pain of living on a planet run by criminals and demons is absurd, insane, and it must be changed. I do believe that in my lifetime I will see many of those changes start to happen. I don't think that the fulfillment of everything is going to happen necessarily in my lifetime unless I live to be in the hundreds of years old, which I'm not going to rule out because the new heaven and the new earth and my new body uh, may be able to endure a long, long, long time, certainly a lot longer than uh, 
than three score and ten or whatever. Um, the seventy years that that some people say is is our lifetime. Of course, in in Africa and in some of the third world countries, seventy would be an old person. Uh, I don't feel old, and I'm you know in my seventieth year. Uh, I don't think I look old and decrepit like some people look that have gone through hell and back in their lives. And it wears on us. It wears on us. I mean, here in America, we've had a relatively easy life. And of course, the people that run the American government are criminals. So they're trying to ratchet down the screws and make it make things worse and worse and worse. But I honestly think that things are going to be getting better. What a concept. It's not going to take 600 more years like one person wrote and said. That would, that's crazy. You know, why would, if it, if it takes 600 more years, the earth won't exist. I mean, it will be a burned out planet like they say Mars is, at least on the side of Mars that we can see. Some say that the other side of Mars that we can't see is actually inhabited. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I do know, right? No, I don't know. I do believe strongly, let's put it that way, that positive changes are in the works. I see that in my own life, as I've shared before about this uh, retired attorney coming to assist me. I mean, what a godsend. What an absolute godsend. And attorneys, lawyers, one of their jobs is to transfer property. That's one of the things that they do. And they transfer that by contract, by actual physical contract, not by word of mouth agreements, but by actual contract where the, where the seller and buyer are named and where there's a new ownership and it's done for ten dollars <laughs> it's transferred for ten dollars that's 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 what it costs to transfer property but of course we've screwed everything up when i say we i mean the cabal has screwed everything up and made it absolute insanity absolutely crazy and that's the world that we want to get away from I don't want to get away from it as much as I want to see it transformed. And I want to be part of that transformation, along with this attorney and along with others that, that have love in their hearts and, and a, a vision of what things can be instead of terrorized, being terrorized and a vision of how terrible things are going to become. Things are not going to stay terrible once we get rid of the demons and the demon-possessed human beings that, that have uh, wrested control from whoever they wrested it from through our ignorance, through our apathy, through our not caring. We're going to have to become involved in, in the changes that are, that are coming our way. We're going to have to actually do something. And uh, freedom is not something that's just a gift that we take for granted. It's something that, that requires action. It's something that requires our commitment. It's something that requires us to be somebody, not just to, to exist and to, and to, you know, just dance our lives away and, uh, and escape like so many people have. That's, that's their life. Their life is, 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 drinking until they don't remember how bad it is and they try to paint a picture of of something that isn't real we want to make it real tangible the heaven the kingdom of heaven on earth tangible what a concept that's what i live for that's why i feel that i was born and i feel like i've known that in various degrees my entire life since I was a child. And it's still my vision. And I want it for you. I want it for your children and your loved ones. I want it for all of humanity. I want to be liberated. And on that note, I say namaste.